Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we're going to be playing in a HD full lace wig. Now this one comes from Eva Wigs and as you guys can see they give you tons of goodies in your package which is always a plus. And then of course you're going to get your wig. Today this one is a 20 inch 150% density straight full lace wig. The lace here is Swiss HD lace and of course Course. I'm gonna slay her from start to finish for you guys so here is a close-up and some quick shots of what the wig looks like straight out of the pack again it is straight hair and as you guys can see it comes with three combs in the front one in the back uh, adjustable straps and then this is kind of like what the lace looks like in the back since since this is a full lace wig, you'll be able to part it anywhere. It is pre-plugged and as you guys can see, they did a pretty good job. Off camera, I went ahead and co-washed the hair and this is what it looks like. Nice and fluffy and airy. I went ahead and added my heat protectant to and threw it on the mannequin head. It did air dry overnight on the mannequin head, so pretty much a little bit less manipulation. Now I'm going to be switching it up today. Normally I would use my wax. Today I am using the Sebastian, excuse me, the Sebastian Shapers to go ahead and straighten out the hairline. And as you guys can see, it's like magic. It does an amazing job and all you need is a little bit. If you put too much, it does run the risk of having like that whiteness. But sometimes with the wax, I get the whiteness anyways. So and I did get this technique from Larasia Andrea here on YouTube. I absolutely love this. Now, I'm not going to forget about my wax stick, but it is nice to have different products to switch up your techniques. Here is a glimpse of what the full lace wig looks like from the back. As you guys can see, I did go in and silk press, but I did kind of speed up through it because the last tutorial I posted here on YouTube, I did show myself doing a silk press, so I don't want to be redundant and show it today but you guys get the method i pretty much use the rat tail comb and the flat iron and just kind of do the chase method next i'm going to open up the parting a little bit um i love when a wig comes nicely pre-plugged and this one definitely was no exception but I did go in with my tweezers and kind of just tweeze a little bit more. Now, if you guys want an in-depth tutorial on how I tweeze my hairline, please let me know. Um, I've been having a lot more time, not really, but I've been making more time <laughs> to be a little bit more... Um, careful and take my time when it comes to customizing my lace wigs and not rushing them as i used to i do have three small children so sometimes whether i'm filming or not it is hard to do a start to finish install on myself um, without being interrupted but like i said i just really really want to up my game as far as my installs go so i've definitely been taking my time and making sure to pluck my hairlines and make everything look a lot more flawless now with this one i didn't go in super super um extreme normally i would part out the hairline and go um a little bit behind the hairline to make it even more gradient but i just kind of wanted to open it up a little bit and it definitely made a huge difference and you will see that once the wig is on my head now after i did that i kind of just cleaned it up again since i did kind of manipulate how flawless the front looks like and i think this looks amazing and of course i did use a heat protectant which is extremely important and as you guys can see this looks pretty good considering i didn't go in and do an extreme um pluck job i just did a little bit next i'm gonna make this into a glueless lace wig by adding a little bit of elastic before i do that there is a comb in literally like the center of the wig and i'm gonna take that out just because there's no need for it and i did find um a fresh pair of these eyebrow scissors unfortunately these do have a curve they're nice and sharp but they have like a curve up at the very front so i may not be getting the best use out of these for my lace but i did want to start using like um these smaller scissors i have a pair already and you guys see me on camera use them all the time and i just find that it's easier to get my lace with these opposed to uh, my big hair scissors unless i am using my eyebrow razor which i do um, use interchangeably 
and this is what it looks like when you add the elastic band if you guys want a tutorial on how i make my wigs glueless by simply adding the elastic band there is one linked in the description box for you guys to check out and of course i have a few on my channel so you can just search my channel um the keyword elastic band and you will be able to find the few that i've posted just now again, I'm no professional when it comes to these wig installs. I am an amateur who is just pretty much learning as I go and sharing my journey here with you guys on YouTube as I perfect my installs. And I must say, this definitely was a pivotal moment for me. I was definitely proud of the hairline and everything on this one. Of course, it came nicely uh, prepared and ready to go for me. But I just did switch up a few things about how I install and it is so much better. For one, always, always co-wash your wigs, always prep them on the mannequin head, add your elastic band if you want to make it glueless, and of course, just take your time and make your install as flawless as you can by plucking and tweezing the hairline and just, you know, tweaking anything as you go that will help to make the install look flawless. So I went ahead and shaped the um, wig around my ears so that the hairline can lay flat. I added my glue of choice and then I'm going to just allow this to dry with my um, scarf on and my blow dryer. Now the reason I put the scarf on is because if I just blow dry the hair will fly away or around and get kind of frizzy and messy and I just want it to lay flat and in place while I go ahead and blow dry and I do have my blow dryer on a hot setting which is pretty hot but I just kind of wanted to speed this process up and that did an amazing job. Now because I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace with the wig attached to my head i definitely think it's important that the wig is dry um, and your adhesive is already bonded down and this is going to just help to make it a little bit easier now this is a process or a step that i definitely need a lot of practice in i find that you guys if you watch my videos know that i usually will cut off the excess lace then apply my adhesive to my hairline and then apply the wig on top in this case i went ahead and applied the wig first put the adhesive on top allowed that to dry and now i am pulling any excess um, of the lace up to the hairline as close as possible and then cutting it from there and as you guys can see i'm not cutting completely on the hairline in a lot of spaces i'm like a little bit in front of the hairline and of course it is a little bit more messy there is a little bit more glue and stuff on my forehead um and so forth and so on and that's why i, I say i need a little bit more practice because i do like this technique more but of course just like when i started bonding my wigs down and i need to practice to perfect the technique I was doing originally. This is no exception. Now because the lace kind of was coming up in the front from the way I um, cut the excess lace off, I'm just taking my rat tail comb and my adhesive and just going in and making sure everything is smooth. I'm going to take rubbing alcohol and go ahead and clean up my forehead for a more flawless finish and so it doesn't look so messy. And then I'm going to take my scarf again and allow that to dry since I did add more glue. Or bond it's not really a glue it's a holding spray and of course everything I use in this tutorial is linked in the description box for you guys to check out and shop if you choose now this I felt was really good and I was super happy about it 
Now, a couple of mistakes I made in this install. You can definitely see my cap if you look close enough. So definitely either use no cap or do the ball cap method. And also the hairline, I can kind of feel like you can see the demarcation of where the lace um, starts and my hairline finishes. Instead of using a contour powder, I just used the same exact foundation powder um, for my hair and I absolutely love it. But again, I feel like you can see that demarcation and I really don't know how to go around that. The lace was a beautiful and it really was good for my complexion but of course i told you guys in the last video i filmed or uploaded i did order a few um lace tints i ordered one from even new york and then i also ordered another one i forgot what the name of it is but it comes from the uk so hopefully those will both be in next week and i can use those to see if i can kind of get rid of that demarcation a little bit better but for now, again, I just use my foundation powder along the hairline and then in the parting, I'll use like a contour powder or whatever will work. But a lot of the times I feel like my foundation powder looks a little bit too red in the parting. Now, of course, you guys see I just made a little bit of baby hair to kind of break up that hairline and hopefully camouflage it a little bit. And I opted for half up, half down. Now, this is 150% density. I definitely wish it was a lot more full, but I do find that with full lace wigs, they always come a little bit more low density. Um, and to combat that, you can definitely add in tracks. Um, I was going to do a tutorial for you guys on how I glue in tracks to make a full lace wig feel fuller. So let me know if you guys want to see that that also on the right side you can kind of see the parting looks a little bit funky they kind of sort of over bleached in that one little area I thought I would just mention that for you guys so that you're not bamboozled and you know um, that but you can just take a little bit of mascara and fix it thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys check out Eva wigs all the details on this wig and a link to shop are in the description box as well as everything I use I love you guys I am so excited to share vlogmas and the holidays with you guys so don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!